Okay, so welcome or welcome back to my weekly-ish crafty vlog. We have a special guest. This is a little friend that we are thinking about adopting. What are you doing? All right, cats are liquid. And I'm just permanently going to have cat hair on me at this point. But that's a, a little friend that we are probably adopting for Larson to have a friend. Larson has always lived with other cats. Our cat of 15 years passed away last December. And so Larson has never been alone. He actually came from a hoarding situation. He lived in a hoard for 13 years before we adopted him in 2019. And so he's never been alone. <laughs> so this little guy hopefully is going to get along with Larson. We're still kind of in our testing phase to see if he and Larson like each other. So far, so good. Uh, it's It's been 16 years since I've had a kitten though. So this is a new experience. But this week, I am hopefully going to get a lot accomplished. Um, I am going to try to make some progress on the mini series So Long Blocks. I'm going to hopefully work on the Halloween quilt. I really need to get that done into the quilter. That's, uh, that's probably not gonna happen. Yeah, there's no way. I'm realizing that there is no actual way that that quilt will get done in the time frame I need it to be done before my parents visit. So I may not work on that because I've just given up hope. That was me on camera giving up hope. But so long, probably the Halloween quilt because I do want it by Halloween at least. And right now I am going to decorate my craft room slash office a little bit for spooky season because today is the official start of fall and so all the spooky vibes it is my favorite time of year Halloween is my absolute favorite holiday so I'm going to pull out the Halloween decorations I've already put some things out um, I've got some pumpkins around just for fall vibes but now I'm gonna get out the spooky stuff and decorate at least my craft room I've got a couple things that I wanna put on the walls and I have a garland that I'm gonna make and hang above my window. So I'm gonna take you along with me and you'll probably see a lot of kittens. Can I share your thoughts? Yes. Okay, so I'm probably covered in fuzz at this point. What? Yeah. So I got out all of the Halloween decorations that I have. These cute little felt bats. I redid this area like four or five different times trying to figure out how I wanted it to look. And I finally have something I really like. I've got my little cauldron and my little marble witch's hat up on top, the little felt bats that are from Home Goods with my witch's hat from Etsy down here as well as a candle. And then I pulled out yarns that matched the bats and I think it looks really, really cute, especially for my crafty room slash office. So this is the wall in my craft room and this is a kitten getting too close to my plant. No! <laughs> um, so I have uh, this print already that I got from Etsy and then I just downloaded a couple um, from a shop that I will screen record so you can see that. 
but I have this frame that is empty. Um, I'd ordered a print to go in it, but it's not arrived yet. But now that it's spooky season, I'm gonna put something else in there anyway. Um, I'm gonna put um, some different fabric. Plants are not for cats. Um, I'm gonna put some different fabric in that hoop. And I have another hoop too that I might put some fabric in. And then I also have this um, that was uh, part of a quilt guild swap a couple years ago. And I've had it on a table in the living room before, but I think it'll look really cute on the wall. And then I'm gonna swap out uh, the little green fox that I have right here for this orange one, just so that everything matches. And I will probably put some prints in the other frames and things that I have hanging up, just so everything all ties together and looks great for spooky season. I wanted to get some art that I could quickly print for those frames, so I just searched Halloween printable art on Etsy and saved quite a few to favorites. I really liked this one. And uh, for each one, I checked the frame sizes to see if they would fit the picture frames that I had. And I found several that I really liked, but I ended up going with this one by Charlotte Art, and I'll have that linked down below. So I grabbed this one and printed them off and got them framed. Next up, I needed to switch out the fabric in this little embroidery hoop, and I also grabbed a larger embroidery hoop to hang up with some other spooky fabric. I had several different fabric options, but I ended up going with a purple to match one of the other wall hangings. And with this one, the placement of the hoop was pretty important, so I was trying to figure out which version of the moon and bats I wanted to have. And it was a little hard to not get multiple moons in the frame, but I ended up with a cute little section of a crescent moon. And then uh, for the other one, I had a little piece of candy fabric left over from the Hocus Pocus quilt that went really well with the art that I downloaded from Etsy. So I got these both in the hoops and then I trimmed the fabric and I did just a little bit of a whip stitch around the back to kind of tuck those fabric edges in so they wouldn't uh, hang out around the hoop.
over the weekend, I got two quilts back from the quilter. And the first one is my Hocus Pocus quilt. And that's really gonna be hard to get all the in frame. So I will take some pictures of it once it's bound and uh, show that to you. I'll also have it on my Instagram. But the quilter used, I had her use a pink thread throughout because it does have a lot of pink in it. And I really love the like sweet and spooky kind of vibe. And I absolutely love this backing fabric. I've had this forever and it was almost hard to use. Uh, I just hated cutting into it, but now it will be on a quilt for me to use. So I've already got the binding made for this. So I am going to work on binding this and hopefully get it done and in the wash and on the couch by tomorrow. We'll see. It's currently Monday <laughs> and my family gets here on Friday. So I'm excited about that one. And then I have this baby quilt that is way overdue. Um, the baby is already here. <laughs> the baby is seven months old. Uh, we're behind, but this one is the maypole pattern and I'll have this linked in the description as well as the other one, but I also have the binding done for this. I really love how it turned out. I use the minky back on it, um, like I do for all my baby quilts. So I'm going to get this bound and in the mail to mom and baby, hopefully tomorrow, if not by Wednesday. So. Let's get binding. Yeah? You helping? Yeah? One of my favorite parts of binding is actually doing the corners. Once I kind of got it figured out, I really enjoyed this part. I like making the nice, neat little tucks. Uh, the method I use uh, does back stitching off of the edge of the quilt so that you can pull the quilt and the binding out to make the little corner tuck there. And then I usually uh, slide the fabric back under the presser foot, use the presser foot to kind of hold it in place while I raise the needle and then move it underneath. But I really enjoy doing the binding this way and I also machine bind everything since most quilts I give away are gonna be washed in the washing machine. And then my other favorite part is putting on the label. Don't forget to label those quilts. In wrapping up this week's vlog, I do have a couple of recent purchases that I wanted to share with you all. 
Uh, the first one is this sock yarn. It's from the Good Moss Company. Uh, and the colorway is It's Spooky Time. So I'm really excited uh, to start some Halloween socks as soon as I finish the socks that I have on the needles right now. And uh, the other thing I got, this is a pattern that was just released in September. It's the Prissy Patch by My So Quilty Life. And I'm probably gonna make this one next fall. I actually have a friend in mind that I might make this for, but I thought it was super cute. So I pre-ordered the pattern and it came uh, last week. So I'm really excited to eventually make this quilt, uh, not for this fall. And then the thing I'm most excited about, my fabric came for the mini series so long. This is the Allison Glass Century Solids line, and this is the Hopscotch Fat Quarter Bundle. So I can finally start working on the real version of my mini series quilts, uh, quilt blocks. So hopefully, maybe today I'll get a little bit done, but next week's vlog is, is gonna be a little bit different. I'm gonna do a sit down style video with uh, some embarrassing information. So stay tuned for that. And then I'm doing something that I can film all in one shot because my parents are coming in. So I'll be really busy with them for the next week and won't really have much time to do any vlogging. But I am hopefully going to the Vermont Sheep and Wool Festival. So I'm gonna try to film while I'm there. So fingers crossed and in a future episode, you'll get to see a little bit of that footage. Um, if we do get to go, it just kind of depends on the weather and what my parents feel like doing because they uh, had a long journey to get here from Virginia. So that's it for this week. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Definitely leave me a comment down below. Let me know what projects you're working on, especially if you're doing the mini series so long. Uh, I'd really love to see what you're up to and don't forget to subscribe. <laughs>